And a tea, but that's a secret. Oh. Drink on the list is called The Last Word. And I'm at Chartreuse right now. And what this is, is this is a Detroit based drink original originated in Detroit during Prohibition. And it's made with Chartreuse. And it's the name of the restaurant Chartreuse. So they kind of specialize in this sort of thing. And this drink it just has everything you want. It's strong, it's sour, it's sweet, it's very herbaceous. And even more than that, it's a little bit mysterious and playful with some qualities that aren't easily described. So yeah, last word is great at Chartreuse, but to be fair, since this is Detroit, any bar on this list should be able to make you a great last word. One thing about Keesling is it's in this really weird area of Detroit where it's really nothing else here. So you're probably thinking I set you up to get robbed. But that's not the case. When you come into this bar, you'll actually go inside and see how cool it is. <laughs> so despite being in this really strange area of Detroit, uh, you're going to come in and see that this is actually a great bar. And today we're going to have the old Cuban because this was actually closed for a while during the pandemic. So the drinks I used to have here uh, are no longer available because they kind of switched them up. But they recommended this old Cuban and I tried it and I must say it was very good. A rum drink, a bit tropical tasting and uh, very strong, but a good summer drink. And overall, you can't really go wrong here. They make a lot of good cocktails. Uh, if you come at a certain time, it might be really busy here. And it also includes an outdoor seating area with a fireplace for the cooler months. About this bar is it's in the damn alleyway. So you have to come to this alleyway. Some people like it, some people don't. I'm ready, man. Let's do it. Amazing. You want to grab those up there? Yeah. That is amazing. Pears smoked with hickory wood and Moroccan spice cashews on the side to enjoy. This pairs with a cashew infusion already in the country. Oh, awesome. Right, cheers, folks. Thank enjoy. you. Now I can actually show you guys the So as you can tell, this bar is a beast. It's a really good bar. Some of the cool things about this bar, like how my drink came with a little snack that was free. When you first come there, they'll give you a small cocktail just to get started it's not much but it's a tiny cocktail and so it's a lot of really cool things about this bar it's a wonderful bar but we'll tell you that the drinks here are $25 so if you're at all on a budget this probably is not a bar that you want to go to and uh, you just have to understand that you're paying for the little extra things you're paying for the snacks and the presentation so this is the spot that you go to if you really want to do something special and uh, you want to go go somewhere that you feel like is really exclusive. It also can be hard to get in, so I would recommend making reservations. Next is Two James, which is definitely one of my favorite and go-to bars in Detroit, which is actually a small bar that's attached to the distillery portion uh, because this is a distillery and they make all their own booze here. So I would say this is the best liquor distillery in Detroit. Sure. All right. It looks beautiful. This is the Patronus Charm, which is the first time I've actually tried this particular cocktail. But all of the drinks here are really great. You can't go wrong. Just the taste of the spirits that they make. They all have a, such a good back end and a, a really original type of taste that... You're just going to love whatever you get here. So this is a great bar to James. Oh, man. Sweet. Next on the list is Detroit's 
standby bar, which I've been to more than a few times, I must say. I actually used to come here like once a week, every single Friday. Um, but I just love this bar. It's a high-end cocktail bar that also serves great food. And at nighttime, it's sort of like a lounge, almost borderline club atmosphere where they turn play loud trap music which is always kind of cool to me. It makes it a little unique. But since this is about the cocktail, let's talk about the cocktail. My favorite is called the Snake in the Grass, which is it's a citrusy tasting sweet cocktail, but it also includes uh, the dry ice and mustard greens. So it's kind of like imagine someone just mowed the lawn right in your face. I mean, it's real botanical and uh, the name's it serves it right, snake in the grass. That brings us to number one on the list, which has to be nowhere else but the Sugar House, which is just such a good bar. In my opinion, this bar kind of started the cocktail craze, cocktail trend uh, that's going on in Detroit. Thanks, man. So what kind of smoke is this? This is hickory smoke. And a tea. But that's a secret. Oh. You let one of the the cats out the bag. Beautiful. I'm getting it now. It looks beautiful. Mm. Thank you. Enjoy that. Perfect. One of the best drinks you can get here is called the EFK which is pictured here and it's a smoky whiskey drink infused with hickory smoke and has a bit of a sweet taste, strong boozy and very complex. But this spot has over a hundred drinks and they are honestly all good. I mean, this is the best bar in my opinion in Detroit. So you can just go here and tell the bartenders what you prefer, what your taste profile is and They'll, they'll make you happy from there. Just trust me. Good? Okay, so bonus, bonus drink. When you're in Las Vegas, you must get the original scent. Because this, one thing is different, it has a, this ice ball. I want you to look, Wait, look at this. But this isn't just the ice ball, it's infused with a, like a black Asian tea. And uh, I don't know what it is. I just call it uh, pure eroticism. That's what I call it. But this, very rare. And the one thing in Detroit, they don't infuse their ice balls. I tried to talk to the bartenders and get these people to do it because I don't think it's that hard, but no one's figured out the trick yet. So when you're in Las Vegas, you come to the Chandelier Bar and you get the original scent. That's how you're gonna do it, okay? Bonus. So like what I love about the original scent it's like not so much an ice uh, ice ball, it's more like a snow texture. You can eat it easily, it's not hard. And uh, man, it's got a, it's so good. But uh, it's about $17, $18, it's not cheap. And some of the bartenders are perfect. But what I will say is uh, it's strong. So one or two, and yeah, you're good to go. Okay. Have a ball.